Bye. 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 Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be creating a ribbon trim tutu along with three t-shirts to match. One of the shirts are going to be for the birthday girl and the other two shirts are going to be for the mom and brother of the birthday girl. So yeah, let's get started on today's video. So the first thing that I did is I went and purchased my tool on the bolt and this tool I did get from Hobby Lobby. So we're going to be creating a princess and a frog themed tutu today. So I got eight yards of the purple and eight yards of the green. And what I'm going to do is cut both of them into four yards each. So it should be two four yard pieces of the purple and two four yard pieces of the green. I do have a cutting mat that's about a yard long. So what I do is fold it back and forth on that mat until it totals up to four yards. So after we have everything divided up into four yards each, what you're going to do now is cut it to whatever length tutu that you want for your client. Uh, mine is going to be going on a six year old, but she is like super, super tiny. So I'm going to be making it about 10 inches and I will list all of the sizes and waist measurements in the description box below. You can also cut off any jagged edges just to ensure that your tool is straight at the ends, which, like you guys see me doing here. So you guys do have the option of doubling the size. So since I'm going to be creating a 10 inch tutu, if I wanted to double it to make it a lot thicker, what I could do is cut it to 20 inches and then fold it in half. But I didn't really want it to be too much. I felt like this one would be perfect for her. So I just decided to do it the 10 inches. And I want to be showing you guys how I made the shirts in this video. Because I really tried not to make this video too long. I'll just show you guys pictures at the end. Okay, so now that I have all four of my pieces cut to 10 inches each. This is how much I have left over. And this is so much, you guys. Like this right here can make a whole nother tutu skirt. Okay, so this is my sewing machine that I'm going to be using today. I'm not sure of the exact model, but it is a Brother Project Runway Limited Edition sewing machine that I purchased from Walmart. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to be threading my bobbins with the coordinating thread. So let me do that and get the machine threaded and then we can get started. Okay, so in order to put on our new presser foot, what we're going to do is push this little button back here on the back of our presser foot and what it's going to do is release the presser foot so that we'll be able to change it. This is the one that we're going to be putting on and you do want to adjust it to whatever seam allowance you want on there. As you can see it has the different ones, the different measurements listed on there for you. And then you're just going to line it up where you see the little opening it and then just drop it and it'll automatically pick it up. Now it's time to start sewing. You wanna make sure that you have your machine threaded with whatever color thread that you're gonna be starting with. I'm gonna be starting with the green. So I have my machine threaded with the green. And the first thing I'm gonna do is to create a seam allowance so that I am able to thread my 3 4 inch non-roll elastic inside the seam once this tutu is complete. And when you create your seam allowance, just make sure it's slightly bigger than the elastic that you're going to be using just to make sure that it's enough room. So after I have my seam allowance, what I'm going to do is line my ribbon up up against the end of the tool and then I'm just gonna sew the ribbon to the tool. And I'm gonna do this for the whole four yards. And I will speed it up, you guys, so you don't have to watch me sewing because I know that that can get kind of boring. 
especially when this video took me like over an hour to sew everything. Okay, after we are done sewing, this is how everything should look. Should have a total of four pieces. And here's a close-up of it. Okay, the next thing to do is to go ahead and thread our elastic through the opening that we left for it earlier. So you want to put safety pins on the ends of the elastic, like I've done here. And I've used these really, really jumbo safety pins for this because you do not want this safety pin to you know get stuck or anything inside of there you want to make it as easy as possible for yourself and as you can see I set my ass down real quick because this process was going to take forever okay so at this point all you're going to do is continue to thread the green on there until you have the whole two yard piece on there and once you get the safety pin through the other side you're going to start with your other color the pattern that i'm going for is green purple green purple if you want to do it green green on one side and then the purple and the purple on the other side you can do that but i would suggest just leaving it as the eight yards like it originally came instead of cutting it into four yards like we did at the beginning so leave the whole eight yards of the green and then the whole eight yards of the purple so everything and then you can do all this at one time instead of having four different pieces but this is the pattern that i was going for so that's the reason why i decided to do it this way So now that we have all four of our pieces of tool onto the elastic, now we have to sew the two pieces of elastic together. So I will be doing that for you guys now. And you first want to remove the safety pins from the ends of it. And I will come a little closer so you guys can see a little better, but what you want to do is overlap the elastic like you see I have done here, and then sew right along the line. And I suggest using a zigzag stitch for this just because the zigzag stitch is going to give you a little bit more stretch than it would if you use like a regular stitch. And as with sewing anything, be sure to back stitch every single time. And I usually do this about two or three times just so I can make sure that this tutu is not going to come apart in no shape or form because you guys know how rough kids are they'll be pulling out and, and everything and you do not want your thread to you know break or anything like that and then the tutu to completely fall apart so just to make sure i do take it out and do it again a few times just to make sure it's completely sturdy and it's not going to slip at all and then you want to cut off your excess thread and then you want to kind of just move it around to cover up all the extra elastic. 
And once you do that, you are done. So I need to get me a kid's mannequin. Cause right now all I have is this adult mannequin. And it's way too big for my smaller tutus. So at this point, everything's done. The only thing you're gonna do is go through there, push everything over to cover up any white spaces that you may see. Just push it over and then fluff up the bottom. So just play with it until you get it kind of looking, you know, somewhat decent. <laughs> I'm trying to do like little waves with the tool. If you want to add a bow or anything to the front, you're more than welcome to. I probably will add one just because I love to finish off my tutus with bows. That is it. Here's the bottom of it. Alright, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful or if you learned anything from it, please like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, keep crafting. If you want to see pictures, be sure to watch until the end.